about this video. This video is part of a playlist where I'm doing a ton of playthroughs and breakdowns of all sorts of different worship songs that have really cool guitar intros in them, things that have helped me really grow and learn and kind of shape my guitar playing over the years, and so I'm hoping these videos will help you do the same. So let's get into this one. This is Yours Forever by Hillsong United in B minor, and man, this is awesome. This is hands down the most rock and roll song they have ever done, and I think, to my knowledge, one of the most rock and roll-y songs in kind of all of, um, like all worship music and it's oh it's so much fun so there's a lot going on guitar wise so we're just going to kind of break down that main guitar riff so they play it two times through and it's the same notes both times it's just the first time is a little bit more chill just while they're kind of doing the big hits intro and then when everybody kind of comes in the second round um it's just played a lot bigger so here we go it's going to start on the fourth fret on the g string and the first four notes it's going to be four four two four and you're going to pull off so that second four you're going to pull off to two and then play four so it'll sound like this and then you're going to go to two on the d string and then open and then you're going to play two on the g string four on the D string, and then two on the G string again, and then you're gonna play almost the exact same riff again. And then at this part, you're just gonna play two on the D string again, and two on the A string. So note-wise, that's the whole thing. Um, and so the, the soft one, you have those little pull-offs, and you know you play everything really pretty straight. And then the second time that you go through it, you give it a little more of that kind of like rock and roll attitude. And so I don't do any pull-offs or hammer-ons or anything. The second time, it's all, I, I pick every single note. Um, kind of the main differences besides um, the like rock and roll kind of bounce to it, it gives it a little extra, um, it's like not quite as played straight. It's got some more um, like pauses and weights and stuff to it. Um, instead of, it's more, just has a little extra jump to it. Um, but what I will do is I will almost always play um, those first two notes on the four on the G string, and I will use these fingers to mute the other strings. So it's just just that one ringing out, but you get that little, like the, the edge from having muted strings in there. And then when you come back to that four, I'll give it a lot of vibrato. And then when you get to that two on the G string at that part of the, the riff, you're gonna give that some vibrato too. And so just kind of in different spots where you hold on a note for a little longer, longer you'll give it a little bit of vibrato. So um, all together pretty slowly. So that's it. Um, it's a lot easier to play the rock and roll one faster, um, and so once you get up to time, play along with the recording, you'll you'll hear it how it it jumps around a little bit, and it's got that really cool rhythm to it, um, and it really just it feels like you're just jamming and having fun, and oh man, it's such a cool guitar part. Um, so anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, it is part of a playlist. The link to the full playlist is in the description. Um, so go ahead and click that link and check out some of the other videos that I've got on worship songs with really cool guitar intros.